It's a wonderful day in West Virginia. Welcome to The Daily 304, innovators and entrepreneurs feature. Here at The Daily 304, we are committed to sharing the wealth, beauty, opportunity, and innovation that's here in wonderful Almost Heaven, West Virginia. Today, we are joined by Jeff Tunnell. He's the owner of Allegheny Image Factory, a media company out of Morgantown that creates award-winning content from graphic novels to feature films. You've probably seen some of his work for companies like Nike, Coca-Cola, and Lionsgate. Jeff Tunnell, thank you for joining us today. Andy, thank you for having me. I appreciate you uh, bringing me into this. Absolutely. We have, uh, we have a lot to talk about in a very short time. Jeff, you work in the creative industry of movie production and content production. Could you talk to us a little bit about why your company chooses to do that in West Virginia and what you stand for and what you do? Well, the interesting part for us is uh, I'm a West Virginia native. I was uh, from Reesville, West Virginia, which is close to Fairmont, in between Fairmont and Morgantown, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, my business partner is my brother, Robert, who is a pretty well-known screenwriter and director in his own right. And over the course of the time, the last 30 plus years have been involved in the film industry. Uh, we would bring projects back here to West Virginia. Then about 15, 17 years ago, uh, Bob, moved to Morgantown full time. And in the process of that, uh, we built our company that would be based here in Morgantown. And through that time, we've done a variety of projects in state and out of state. We've been fortunate enough over the years, we had West Virginia Tourism as a client for three years, which was a lot of fun, got to learn a lot about what the state. And simultaneously, while that was happening, opportunities for feature films came up. Uh, we did a film called Back Fork that was directed uh, by uh, West Virginia native Josh Stewart. Then my brother did a film that got a lot of notoriety called Feast of the Seven Fishes that came out in 2019. Um, so that's led to other opportunities for us, which we're now currently doing for a &E and Lifetime Network. We're just beginning our second film shooting uh, here as we speak. Excellent, excellent. Feast of the Seven Fishes has brought my family together and we just saw it for the first time this, this season and uh, we had one at our house for Christmas. So awesome. thanks, it's a great movie. Excellent. Great. And, excellent. and I love seeing uh, Central West Virginia on screen. Wonderful thing. So tell me a little bit about the projects you've really fallen in love with and talk a little bit more about the new ones you have in place. Those are national production companies that are shooting here in West Virginia. Yeah, for sure. Um, favorite all time is going to be Feast because it's personal, it's a little bit of family a background and whatnot, and having the ability to shoot where he grew up. And we had a lot of friends and family involved in it, uh, behind the camera and in front of the camera. Uh, currently, we just finished uh, a production for Lifetime Network that shot in Fairmont area uh, that will be coming out in March of 2023. We're starting our second one now, which will be in the same area. They're based upon the Anne Rule uh, True Crime series which she was a pretty prolific author over the course of time. I think there's 87 titles um, that Lifetime has now gotten into true crime and uh, seems to, there's been four of them released previously. These next two will be in line with the series. So we're pretty excited about it. Uh, very excited about bringing this kind of work that's consistent work into West Virginia and showing what our production skills, uh, what the state has to offer both in front of and again, behind the camera. Something that I think we don't know as the general public about is the economic development side and the economic impact side of, of a production. So talk to me a little bit about, you know, 30 days, 30 people or, you know, three months coming into a community. What is the what, what does that look like? What does that do while you're there? It's, it's basically an entrepreneurial small business that pops up and you're employing 30 people for three months. Absolutely. We actually had 50 employed. Uh, during this course of time. One of the things I'm most excited about with what the state of West Virginia has done is the reinstitution of the film tax credit, which is mm -hmm. a huge driver for this coming. Anytime you use the word tax credit in Hollywood together, it sounds like it's movie given, you know, money being given away to movie people. And uh, that's actually not true. Uh, the way the credit works, you have to spend and you have to make particular investments into a community or into the state where you're working and qualify and prove that you've made that kind of impact. I'm also excited that this is now falling under the guise of the Office of Economic Development by the state. So our relationship with them is a good one. It's one that I think can, can grow and continue to grow. 
and we're going to just strive to 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 make as much uh, uh, business that happens here. The crazy part about it, and trying to speak with local government officials as well, is the money that truly happens during that course of time, as you've alluded to, that 30-day process between hotels, catering, location fees, all of the above, as well as the people that work for us end up paying West Virginia taxes as well. I always talk to people from gasoline being bought by a production on its own right. The project we just finished will probably spend about sixteen, eighteen thousand dollars worth of uh, fuel purchases in our budget during that time. I, I find that our first film will probably have a direct, which I can show, uh, spend into the community, meaning just right off the bat of about two hundred, two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars that will go into that community, and that's just the direct spend. That's not all the ancillary pieces as I alluded to as well. So you have to house these folks. They're staying in hotel rooms. They're eating local food at restaurants and services. You're consuming gasoline uh, snacks. Yeah. Uh, you're buying supplies that are on set. So you basically have this 50 person business operating. You're buying building supplies? Oh, absolutely. Building supplies, we use local catering. Mm -hmm. um, which again, that's something that Bob and I, it's very important for us is because as we, our intention is bring four to eight of these types of projects to West Virginia every year. I think this area is prime for a, a series to come and live here. And those are some of our goals of what we're attempting to do to build this industry within West Virginia. Uh, we have something here called Innovation Corner, and we'd like to try to get advice from other creative people and innovators and entrepreneurs like you. What piece of advice would you have for our viewers and our listeners about getting into the industry or how do you keep going when it seems like things are, you have large obstacles in the way, nobody's looking at your scripts, nobody's returning your calls. What's the thing that's kept you going to be able to be successful here in Appalachia and in West Virginia? I think that I would start with by saying having a belief and a confidence in yourself and with what your goals are and finding the path that works for you. I think oftentimes people get so stuck in wanting to emulate others. It's okay to use someone as a mentor and watching them, their advice and whatnot, but you have to be where your feet are. You have to choose your path to where you go. And the, listen, during COVID was very tough on our business. And I was one of those people sitting there going, Hey, maybe, maybe this is it for me because it had shut down and whatnot. But if you have that true belief and confidence in what you have to offer, and you can develop and create content that folks are interested in, and you have a skill set, which then would lead to ultimately the piece, sorry for the long windedness of continuing education. I'm 59 years old. I've been doing this for quite some time, but I surround myself with a lot of young people who educate me all the time with understanding uh, technology that's available, whether it's for post-production, special effects and editorial, but also a new way of thinking, if you will, of, of, of continuing to grow that way. So I think continuing education and looking at resources and being confident in in your abilities and in a strong belief in your goals and in and, and finding those when one door closes, just find another that opens for you. Thank you for your advocacy for our state as you travel everywhere and bring global national production companies here to create great features and great productions that we can share with the rest of the world about Almost Heaven and other things. So thank you. Andy, thank you for the time. I really appreciate what you all are doing. I think it's important. And again, that last piece I would say is we're in West Virginia. There's a lot going on here. Seek out people like Andy and other folks out there that can make a difference in what you're trying to do, but also keep educating yourself and know that those resources are here. Have that confidence. Jeff, if somebody wants to connect with you because they've got a great idea or they want to work in the industry, what's the easiest way to connect with you? Probably the easiest is at info at AlleghanyImageFactory.com. That's the, the quickest and easiest way to get a hold of us and uh, see what you all have going on and see what any kind of insight we may be able to give you. Fabulous. Jeff Tunnell, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for watching. Be sure to follow us on all our social media channels at The Daily 304. You can also stay up to date with all the great things happening in beautiful Almost Heaven, West Virginia by heading over to wv.gov daily 304. We'll see you all again next time.